What is up fam? Today is an exciting day. We're doing something a little bit different. I've teased it in uh, maybe last week's episode. It's finally happening. As you've noticed, and like most people, not unique to it, I love to travel. There's a lot of places I want to see. The main thing that keeps me from doing it, and keeps a lot of us from doing it, is the cost. It just costs so dang much. Airbnbs and hotels are expensive. So for a while, <clears throat> I've wanted like one of those teardrop campers or uh, like a pop-up. That was my plan. This winter or spring, I was gonna get one of those. Luckily, I brought this up to a coworker and he introduced me to these enclosed trailer camper conversions. Immediately, I knew that was the solution. So I decided this was the route that I had to take. I'm super excited. We're gonna use it this summer. Me and the family are doing a big road trip out west. We wanna go see Grand Canyon, we wanna see Zion, Grand Tetons, Yellowstone. It really wouldn't be that affordable if we didn't have something like this. So that was the original inspiration. And then I started thinking, this will be great for those little weekend trips that I wanna do that Jude and I have talked about, like, just going down to North Carolina for a weekend and bike for a couple of days. This makes that so possible, so easy, so cheap. I'm super excited. It opens up so many possibilities for, for travel and for mountain biking. Finally found a good deal on a trailer. It's a couple years old, but it looks to be in mint condition and it ticked all the all the boxes I wanted. I'm heading there, we're about 45 minutes out. Yeah, so let's go pick this thing up. Got the trailer. You can kind of see it back there. And I just left basketball. So let's go uh, find an empty lot or somewhere to park to show this off. Found a lot, let's go take a look. Outside. It's a six by twelve with a ramp, door, and uh, the extra twelve inches of height, so it's almost seven foot inside. Then we got the camper style door on the side. This is gonna make it difficult to insulate. But we'll definitely insulate the, the roof. That's for sure. That's where you lose most of your heat up. Anyways, it's up. It does lock has a little bit So it's pretty chilly and there's not a ton to show. Right now it's just a regular old cargo trailer. First I'd like to just say uh, hit that like, subscribe, uh, hit the bell so you know when the next episodes are gonna come out. But like I said, it's the it's six by 12, um, seven foot interior height. We've got the, the camper door on the side, the ramp. The ramp's gonna be a sweet feature, we'll get to it. I don't wanna spoil all of the ideas and surprises right now. I might have to order a few things and we've got a few warm days next week. So it'd be nice to do the stuff that's gonna require being outside of the trailer during the 40, mid 40s weather. I think I'm gonna have to order a few things right now and get the ball rolling on that. Leave a comment, let me know any ideas you got for me. This is all nothing set in stone. I've got a lot of ideas up here. This is gonna be a real fluid project. It's gonna be sweet. Stay tuned and I will see you next time. What is up fam? We are making our first run to Menards for this DIY cargo trailer camper conversion project. Gotta get stuff for the ceiling, the insulation, foam board, and the paneling. I think I'm just gonna do like uh, eighth inch plywood. It's lighter than drywall, probably the lightest option. So I gotta get some locks for the ramp door uh, and that might be it for this trip. I uh, made a shitty coffee before I left. It's not good.
I don't like donut shop. So I uh, forgot, oh, didn't forget, I just didn't. I guesstimated and thought that there was like a two inch cavity for the ceiling, but it's about an inch and a half. So had to return the two inch foam board and order inch and a half. And I decided to do it all the right way and get some foam board for the walls and we will take it all apart. You'll never regret doing it the right way, but you'll almost always regret cutting the corners. And I gotta remind myself that sometimes. Now I lied, I didn't stay under budget. I went $71 over, such is life. Head back home. Now it's time to get a little bit done before night. We will do the rest in the morning. clearance. First things first, let's uh, unload it. because lots of uh, spider webs and stuff. And then in here, there was all of this. So there's like a nest. Some mouse must have made its way in. Well, it's all apart tomorrow. Maybe I'll see if there's anywhere that should be caulked and sealed. Good night, we will resume tomorrow. Next morning, back out here. Super windy today, so there'll be a lot of this noise. Yeah, like 50 mile an hour gusts we're getting for the next few hours. Just gotta take these panels off now, all the OSB, and start throwing in the insulation. Should go pretty quick. Let's switch to the uh, GoPro time lapse. Got one section done. Um, there was a screw that wouldn't come out at the bottom, so I just left it and kind of leaned that out to fit it in uh, onto the next. Uh, found my first little bit of critter damage. I knew there had to have been a mouse. All that, those, all those green shavings are um, the coating on the wire 
So I've been taping these up. Uh, just a real quick tape job. Looks like crap, but it works. You just have the uh, brown left. I don't know if you can see. They didn't chew the brown up too much. You can see it right there. Um, the green and the white were chewed almost the entire length of the tape. So I just got to finish taping that up and then we'll get this bottom one off and get this whole thing insulated. Everything always takes longer than you want, but we're getting there. Another little thing, they had this vent here. I decided to just seal that up with tape. I am not going to need it because, well, one, I don't want that free airflow while we're in here. Uh, and two, I'll have windows and a ceiling vent. So unnecessary. Just threw a couple layers of electrical tape over that. A couple more to go for this wall. Got them cut. Just got to slide them in. I got inside and uh, Aaron said she hadn't eaten yet and I didn't feel like making food for both of us. So off to Taco Bell. Also got to swing by the hardware store and get some like self-tapping steel screws so that I can uh, do the ceiling. I'm fed, Aaron's fed. Just trying to get this last side done and then I want to get the ceiling insulated and just one panel. Well, that's the goal for today. some areas like this little cavity in here that you can't really put that foam stuff in. It was difficult to get these bits exact, I'm cutting them by hand. So Erin is on her way home and I had her grab some uh, spray foam while she was out. So we'll uh, seal all that up and then we'll, we'll start putting ceiling panels up. Little bits kept 
falling on my eyes, so I had to put on the goggles. I think that's about it for this video. I got half the ceiling up, everything's insulated. I'm gonna leave the other half undone so I can run some wiring for the roof vent. Let's take a look at what we got so far. All the walls are now insulated and the panels are back up. The roof is insulated. Got half of the roof up. I just picked up this, it's like a cheap kind of decorative board. It's real thin, so nice and lightweight. The vent's gonna go here. And I'm gonna run the wiring over, and then it's gonna come right down here. Right here, I'm gonna have some storage, some shelves. Right at the bottom is probably where we're gonna store the power bank when it's in here. So I'll want the uh, wiring to for that to come down here so I can plug it in. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. I am, for sure. Hit that like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, hit the bell so you know when the next videos come out. Uh, I'm gonna try to do them weekly, but no promises. Be sure to stay tuned and uh, I'll see you next time. What is up fam? Today we're working on the trailer again. We're gonna throw in that uh, roof vent and to do so, we're gonna put in the power. So, we got a couple things to unbox. First up, we've got the power bank itself. To power this trailer, I went with the Jackery Explorer 300. It's not an insane amount of power, but it'll be enough to run a few LED lights, the fan, and charge phones and cameras. Everything else, like to cook and stuff, that's all gonna be um, propane. It's got the cigarette lighter plug, a couple standard plugs, uh, USB-C, two USB-As, and then that's the input in the package. You get the uh, car charger, so you can charge it up while you're on the go. A wall charger also. The solar panel. It's actually got pretty tough magnets that hold it together. Kind of nice. Plug the plug it into the battery. This we'll use while we're parked uh, and actually set up for camp. I've been eager to try this out, so let's go set it up outside and we'll let this charge while we're installing that fan and then get the fan all wired up so we can plug it into here. Looks like it came with 43% battery. So it was a bit sunnier earlier, but uh, this, should, this will still be enough to charge it. But I am super curious, the difference between using the wall plug and solar. So we're gonna hook it up to both and just see the difference in the input. Well plugged into the wall, you can see 76 watts input. I'll set up the solar panel and see what the difference is. So right now, it's not super sunny, probably cloudy, we'll say. And we're getting 25, 26, so about a third. Which honestly, doesn't seem so bad. I'm gonna keep an eye on it, I'll keep peeking to see how high it gets. I reckon in the summer on a nice sunny day, that's gotta go up a little bit. Yeah, so let's let that go for a little while and see how long this takes to charge. We're at 43% right now. It is a little bit after one o'clock. So we're gonna put the fan right here. I'm gonna drill from in here out. First I'm gonna make a little cutout in cardboard for how big the hole's gotta be and uh, we'll trace around that just cause it's pretty difficult to hold this up here and draw around it without 
warping. It bows out when you put any pressure. So we're gonna make a little cutout and then we will draw that on there. This should go really quick, I think. We got our little uh, template. Let's just trace it up here. And I guess get to cutting. All of a sudden I'm pretty nervous. I'm gonna put a hole in the freaking roof. I might drill a big hole in every corner. Yeah, I guess let's just get to it. Cut it out. Messy, messy, messy. finally cut right where it will fit. I'm doing this, uh, I forget what they call this tape. Butyl? Something like that. So there's the sealant tape. We're gonna put that down first. And then the fan. And then you screw it on. And then I have some self-leveling sealant that we will caulk all, all around it. But first, needs to be cleaned up a little bit just so stuff will stick nicely. Well, I know you did as well. I know you listening to well, Pat and the boys, Aaron Rogers Tuesday. It was, it was, uh, just because I have enough you know, just, of the tape I'm well, gonna do two really layers. One specific guy. Uh, just like one guy who's not blocked attached to it. So no. Because that throw back to Aaron Jones, that was filthy. Absolutely filthy. Now I'm hearing via reading the internet that that was a call back to 2000. That went away. I mean, I remember watching that play going, man, how would you even begin to, or when you can get back to that guy? Uh, and so it's always... at halftime where you guys recognize okay this guy's having some success against us really happy with how this is turning out already it looks real clean so, so we've got this uh lap sealant self-leveling stuff we're just going to put a big old fat bead around the whole thing i've got two bottles of it so i reckon we might as well use all of it
I got it. It's, it's looking pretty good. It's the next morning. Didn't end up getting back to it last night. We went and saw a light show when Aaron got out of work. And then I just got up and went and played basketball. And now we are going to finish this up. We've just got to connect these and then run it down to where we want it. I got these little like uh, cigarette plugs, cigarette lighter plugs, 12 volt plug, whatever, that you can wire stuff up to. So we're just gonna hook it up to this and plug it into the Jackery and see if it works. Moment of truth. Ah. Between that and the windows, we're gonna move a ton of air. So I'm actually gonna let that run for probably the next few hours. I want to just make sure that the uh, wire I got is a big enough gauge. It was a, it's a little bit smaller than what's coming out of the fan. Hopefully it's all right, so we'll see. I'm gonna see if it heats up or anything over the next few hours. Thanks for watching. Wait, don't click off. Two things. One, the Jackery, it's only pulling 11 watts to run that fan. So if you remember, it was getting 26 watts of input from the solar panel on that partly cloudy winter day so it should run lights and the fan no problem also that sealant for the fan worked wonderfully i'm not sure how well we'll be able to see it it leveled nicely and not a drop of water was in there What is up fam? So another day working on the trailer. Today I have a window coming in the mail. So we're gonna get this prepped and then I'm gonna run off to a boxing class and Menards and uh, get the stuff we need to install this. So I figure about 20 minutes or so before I need to leave. So that's plenty, I should be plenty of time to get that board off and hopefully make the cuts in the uh, studs. Since I have to cut both of these out to reinforce, I'm taking a sheet of plywood. It's going to be this big. This is going to fit right in here. I'm cutting these out from here to here. That plywood will be what supplies the strength now, and then we'll cut the window out of that piece of plywood. I have employed uh, the help of Judith today to finish this. Got these cut most of the way. I stopped just a little bit short because I was scared that. I was going to punch through with the grinder or the oscillating thing and put a hole in it. I think though, just to like spread the load from these, I think I'm going to end up gluing these in on those supports up top in here and then that will sit in here. I guess first let's measure this and then we'll cut that out. Um, I'll come hold this up here for me real quick. Okay. 
this window over here. I've just been busy with work and stuff, haven't got back to it, but we're gonna, going to install the uh, door window now. Sorry about the hum, I got a little space heater running, seeing if we can hold any heat in this thing. This one should go quite a bit easier. There's a lot less stuff going on in just the door. We're gonna trace the frame on, and we'll just cut it out, and pop it in and it should go that easy.
nicely. That went super well. I was too into it to bring the camera around. <clears throat> I had to cut the inner layer a little bit wider for this frame. Window fit first try, so just got to finish screwing this in and we'll be all good. All right, now that both windows are in, we can uh, move on to the next project. I think both of them turned out real well. They both sucked right up to the edge of the trailer, so they should be good. I think everything's turning out great. It's going pretty much just as planned, which never happens. I'm waiting to finish the ceiling until uh, Tuesday, I think it's coming. A cord to connect the solar panel to the battery, a longer one. I want to run one up through here so we can charge via solar panel uh, while we're in the camper without having to like leave a door cracked or something. So I think next step will be I want to get these walls painted and then we will work on some framing. I'm super stoked. Stuff, stuff's going to start looking a lot cooler here soon and I'm excited for that. As always, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this build, hit a like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, hit the bell so you know when the next videos are coming out. I think I should be able to have a new one every week. Until next time. What's up fam? Welcome back to another episode of the trailer build. Today we're gonna paint some walls. I've got a couple little space heaters going. We're up to about 48 degrees. Probably warm enough to paint. We'll just get going on it and see what happens. This is no longer paint that. I knew it was old, but I didn't know it was that old. So I have different paint I'm gonna go grab. So I've got the other paint. This is the paint we used in our living room. So now it'll kind of just feel like an extension of our home. That's paint. All right, let's jump back in.
what do you expect when you're painting OSB? Uh, it'll get the job done, and I think once there's more stuff in here, it'll look better. But uh, I think I'm going to call that good for the paint. You can obviously st still see the texture of the walls. Nice light gray. And once I get all the trim back in here, that'll make everything look a lot nicer. So on that, I'm going to call it a day. Got some other things to do, but we will come back out here either tomorrow or the next day, and we'll th do the framing for the bathroom. All right, we back out here. Time to put in some framing. I've got it drawn out where I'm putting this you can kind of see that line right there that's going to come to here. This little section will be the shower and then we're going to put the uh, toilet right here and then I've got this line drawn as well. Time to make a couple measurements and get going. I'm hoping the cable for the solar that I want to run down through the ceiling uh, will come today. I don't think I'm going to be able to put in this wall until I can finish that ceiling and I can't put up that ceiling until I run that cable down through the roofs. Yeah, we'll just get going building that first wall and hopefully when Amazon gets here they have that cable. finish nailer. I don't have a framing nailer so just attack them together. I put some long finishing nails in and now I'm gonna throw a screw in there. Between that and the drywall they should be nice and tough. Also Amazon came and no cable. I think it'll probably come tomorrow but we'll do what we can without the ceiling today. Beautiful. Really Secure it to the trailer. I'm going to throw some glue underneath, probably down the side and up top. And then we'll, we will put a few screws in too. It's not going anywhere. So I remembered I uh, just recently took the paneling off the back of our island in the kitchen and put up some shiplap. So I had that lying around and now I don't have to paint any. So I am just going to throw this up and I have a spare piece too to do the outside of the other wall. And I wanted to get something waterproof for the inside of the shower, like the other side of the wall. Um, so I'll just get something put there and there and I don't have to paint anything else. I feel like I'm at a weird point in the project where it's like, I want to finish all the like foundational work before I start doing finishing work, but I think I'm running out of foundational work, so I might get to actually start doing some of the fun stuff here soon. But I'm going to get this tacked on and then we'll cut off the excess. kind of hoping I can just run a blade down and score it. I'm going to snap it off, but we'll see.
I think I might put in the cabinet now because I'm gonna wanna do trim and stuff around the cabinet. So we'll throw that in so we know where our ceiling trim's gonna go. And I'll probably put a little piece of cord around in there just to hold that on better. Came inside to build this much warmer. Uh, also a nicer surface so I don't damage stuff. So this was just a relatively cheap cabinet I ordered from Wayfair. It'll be perfect for holding the obviously dishes and stuff, whatever else we want secure while we're traveling. So yeah, let's just uh, slap it together and get it out there. bad boy up right here. Just gotta go measure a couple things then we will start hanging it up. screws in the support that's down at the bottom too. Originally I was thinking I was gonna, when I epoxied the floor, I was gonna go up over the piece of trim at the bottom, but I think I'd rather have the aesthetics of the white trim there. So uh, no trim today, but I'm gonna order that uh, epoxy here soon, probably in the next couple days. And hopefully on my next, uh, time off i will be able to do that waterproof paneling and stuff is real thin and expensive so i think i'll probably just end up doing drywall on the other side and then i ordered some gray uh flex seal so we'll just paint it with flex seal and it'll be waterproof let's finish throwing this together and and then that'll be it for today satisfied with today's work yeah call that a call that a day as always thanks for watching hit that like subscribe hit the bell so you know when the next videos are coming out uh, leave a comment and i will see you guys next time Today we're working on the trailer again. 
we're going to epoxy the floor and make the shower pan. Unfortunately, my first time recording all this, the microphone on the camera was not all the way plugged in, so there was no sound. So it's just gonna be a quick little uh, montage of getting all the work done. To make the floor waterproof, especially in the shower, I got the Rust-Oleum garage floor epoxy and I just put it on real thick. It needed to be warmer out to do it, so I took it to a friend's garage. He has a big pole barn, it's heated, uh, so that's where you'll see me working at in that video. So without further ado, here's the, the shower pan and the floor epoxy. two days later from when I did this. It's all finished, dried, cured, everything's looking sweet, so let's go take a look at it. What is up fam? You know the drill. It's another day. We're gonna go work on the trailer. We're gonna finish the ceiling, put up the other wall for the bathroom, and see how much more we can get done. It's getting pretty chilly out there. I think we're at like 18 degrees. So we're gonna get all bundled up and make some coffee. start out ceiling and then we'll put in that uh, other wall for the bathroom that will be a little bit tricky because of the slant but we'll figure it out 
All right, let's do this. Ceiling's done. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. Now on to some framing. We gotta get that other wall for the bathroom up, and once that's up, we can put in the little shelves that we're gonna put there. Sick! All the framing's cut. Just got to tack it all together. Because of the, the dip in the ceiling in the front, I'm cutting a little ridge out. I think I'm gonna have to go a little bit wider, though, because it's gotta drop two inches. just cut that real deep um, so that that board will flex I'm hoping it'll flex without breaking but odds are it's gonna break I'm gonna throw some like glue in there though so that it'll adhere to itself after I just got to grab that glue and then we'll start tacking together Let's go throw it up. It's a wee bit tight. It's in. It fought back though. Left a couple scuffs. Nothing we can't touch up. Bathroom is enclosed. It's coming right along. God, that's satisfying. First things first, I need more coffee. Coffee's just finishing up. Perfect. One moment. We're gonna start doing these shelves. So I think I want to be able to store the cooler down here. So top shelf will be electrical. That's where we'll put the battery. Instead of a permanent cable, I didn't like how I was gonna have to install it without it being permanently hooked up to a solar panel. So I think instead we'll drill a hole out 
about the size of a, a little piece of PVC that is big enough to run a cable through it and we'll just have that in here all the time and we'll be able to cap it off and then when I want to be able to charge in here we'll just run that stick that cord up through we'll have that up there and then all the chargers and stuff I'll have room to put batteries and whatnot to be able to charge all those and then some shelves for other various items. I think first I will measure out where I'm going to put these things. I've got the leftover plywood from when we did this window and we'll cut the shelves out of that. I should have enough 2x3 left to be able to put bits up to set the shelves on. dark in here so I figure maybe now's a good time to hang up some lights. I gotta go find some real small screws to screw that back plate to the ceiling. Got a couple lights. So it's been another week but we're back out here. Today we're gonna finish painting the bathroom. I've got the flex seal so we're gonna paint. We're just gonna do the whole bathroom in that. Make those walls waterproof around the shower. shower is painted and waterproof. Came down over the quarter round, looking real clean. I just need to, I have some gray caulk. I just need to caulk that, finish caulking that, and then I'll probably go over it all again in the gray. And I'm just gonna caulk across the top there, and we'll put up some trim pieces around here. So that's where we'll call it for this video. Um, got a good amount done. This is starting to drag on. So just so I don't have like 15 videos of this, I'm gonna start making them a little bit longer and they'll include a bit more. Next up, we're gonna get going on the kitchen. Uh, that should be a fun one. As always, thanks for watching. Hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. What is up fam? Welcome back to another episode of the trailer build. Today, we are gonna get working on the kitchen. First. We're gonna put together a kitchen cart. Let's take this thing inside and build it. kitchen cart's in, just gotta figure out a way to secure it. I think I might throw some caulk underneath the legs and then put board behind here and screw this into the wall. Kitchen cart is secured. Next I think I'm just gonna go right in and we're gonna cut out the sink. I picked up this little sink. We're gonna put it in this way. Let's cut it out.
cutout, we've got a gray water tank, six gallons, and then a six gallon fresh water tank. These will both just sit right underneath the sink here. I don't have the uh, plumbing for the drain for the sink yet, but that'll just drain right down into this gray water tank. And then I've got this little faucet thing. It's like a USB rechargeable. It's for those little five gallon jugs. And then I just got a little bit longer hose and that'll just sit right over here. And this will drop down into that fresh water, clean water tank. So let's drill the hole for this hose real quick and just see how that looks set in there. Now with the sink in, I just want to put the stove up to see what the kitchen was going to look like when it was in use. It's going to be pretty sweet. I'm super stoked to get out and try this thing out. It's going to be awesome. But lots more work to do. shopping the other day and I decided to stock up with some just essential herbs and spices that I use. Nice. They were out of a few things I wanted so that's what those last spots will take up. Of course a salt and pepper grinder. I also picked up some of these lights while I was out. They seem like they're gonna be kind of bright also. Cool thing, a wireless switch. So it all just kind of sticks up here and then sticks to the wall and then we got a light switch, so that's fun. I'm gonna go throw batteries in these, be right back. Batteries. I think we'll just keep plugging away at these little things. Next, I think we'll throw up the holders for the curtain rod, for the curtain that's gonna go across the bathroom. I have this super sturdy leftover, like, steel pole, and this will be more than enough for the curtain for the bathroom and for the curtain for the shower. Might as well knock those bad boys out right now.
got it cut down. Both of these are in now. I don't know, obviously, I'm gonna wait to hang up the curtains till we're done working in here because they're just gonna get dirty and in the way. Other than staining, which I might start working on tonight. I think trim's about all I have left I can do. I think we'll start throwing in some trim pieces. I've got quite a bit of leftover trim from when we did the house. Time was getting tight. We're going to Costco this evening. So I shut off the camera and just started going. I got a few bits of trim up. Bunch of stuff cut. Welcome to my disgusting unfinished basement. I'm gonna get going on staining the shelves and the table. did two coats of the stain on everything except the underside of the shelves. I don't know if the video does it justice, but it's like uh, the plywood's almost like holographic. You can kind of see it there. I'm gonna do two coats of urethane. All the staining is finished. It's the next day now. Uh, just put the halfling down for a nap, so I've got a couple hours before she wakes up. I figured we would finish up the plumbing and then maybe get some more of the trim done. We swung by Home Depot yesterday while we went to, when we went to Costco and stuff. I got the drain and then the plumbing for it. I found this uh, simple drain. It's rubber and obviously uh, very pliable. That's gonna make running this over to the uh, the gray water container a lot easier. So let's get started on that. sink. I've got a few of the like diamond plated steel stuff ready to go up. So got to scrounge up a few more screws and we'll attach those and then we'll get going on the floor trim. Everything's starting to look super clean. I got all the trim up, got everything caulked. I put in these little clips so we don't have another mishap like I had on my way to epoxy the floor. And while I was driving, this swung open, came off the top hinge, twisted the bottom hinge, and then came off of there. Don't want that to happen anymore. Got all the trim in behind the toilet, down there, back where the shelves are gonna be, and through here. So everything's coming together nice. As usual, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. It's starting to come along. I think probably a couple more videos and we'll have this thing wrapped up. If you're enjoying this and you haven't seen the rest, here's the last video. And if you want to watch all of it, here's the playlist. Thanks for watching. 
hit that subscribe, leave a comment, like, hit the bell so you know when the next one comes out, and I'll see you next time. What is up fam? Welcome back to another episode of the trailer build. In this video, we're going to install a little channel in the ceiling to run the cord for the solar panel out. We're gonna install those shelves and then we're going to install the table. We also have a few other little things we're gonna do. I got these little D rings to fasten things to the wall and to hang up some other things. Let's just get to it. We're gonna put one over here to hang up the, the kitchen utensils. We're gonna hang that up with a D-ring and a carabiner. But those uh, those little D-rings didn't come with screws like I thought they would, so I'm gonna go find some stuff in my uh, random hardware. Found a bunch of these screws from uh, when I swapped all the hinges on the doors, so these look like they'll work just fine. For things I want to hang up, since we're going to be driving down the road, and hooks won't be great, I'm going to do one of these little D-rings, and then a carabiner, and then we'll just, boom. Now the kitchen utensils are right by where we'll be cooking, and this isn't going to go anywhere while we're driving. And then for things like the toilet, <clears throat> I'll put a couple D-rings behind it and run a bungee or strap around the front. So there was actually this little uh, ridge around the back here that a bungee sits nice in. That's where I ended up strapping it on both sides. Next up, so we can install these shelves, let's install that little channel right up here. I didn't want to have a cable permanently ran out there because I'm not going to permanently mount um, any solar panels. <clears throat> so I'm taking some PVC that the cable will fit through and then so that'll sit in here and then I have these kind of caps on each end so that'll get cemented on and then each end will have a cap that screws on and off so we can still seal off from the outside. I had to do that bit without gloves, so now my fingers are freezing. So come inside and warm up a little bit, maybe have a coffee, snack, maybe watch an episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and then we will get back out there and mount those shelves. So while I was drinking coffee and eating a snack, I had a package come in the mail, the uh, Rode Wireless Go To. So I'm gonna use a different camera for the rest of today. Uh, we're gonna use the GoPro with the Rode mic on it, just so I can test it out. This is going to be my new riding setup, so before I actually get out on the trails, I would like to make sure that it works. I work tonight, so I'm going to have time for a couple more things. We're going to get these shelves installed and then uh, do the final coat of polyurethane on the table. Let's figure out what screws we want to use for those shelves. Perfect. There's not a ton else I can do right now, so I'm gonna stick up the LED strip light that I'm gonna put around here. It's just got a sticky back, and then there's these brackets you can put to reinforce. This will actually start back in that corner, and it will wrap all the way around.
got these cool lights up. All the different colors. Or just white. That's really about it that we can do in here for now. So let's head inside and throw on that last um, coat of polyurethane on the table. Welcome back to the disgusting basement. The other side is all done and I've got one coat on this side. It's just got to do with the second. Um, so it's going to do a light sanding and then we'll do that other coat. Lighting down here sucks, but you can see how nice and glossy that is. Got everything moved inside and ready to assemble. Well, as at Menards, I got a bunch of these brackets. I'm gonna glue them and bracket them together and I also think that these brackets will look kind of cool. I'm using this method for the bed frame and for the legs for the fold down table. To attach it to the ground I got a couple of these like L-shaped brackets. next day I brought the uh, bed frame stuff out here we're gonna get it secured and build the rest of it and then we will mount that table and that's about it I've got some of these angle bracket things we're gonna use these to uh, secure it to the wall and the floor is built, we're gonna start cutting slats and get the slats in there to kinda help finish securing it. So slat cutting montage. Slats are cut, we're gonna put in these supports here and then all of these slats will get screwed to it. Got everything set and adjusted. So now I'm just taking this strap and attaching it to the slats so that all these slats are just connected. So. Stuff with the beds. 
it's done. Right now it's in couch mode. We will install that table tomorrow. Uh, that'll be it for this video. And then the next video will be the whole tour and walkthrough, and that'll be after all the finishing touches are done. As always, thanks for watching. This was a fun project. We'll uh, do a complete tour with all the finishing touches and everything here soon. In the meantime, if you wanna watch all of it, if you haven't seen it already, you can go check out the playlist. Smash that like button, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when the next videos come out, and I will see you next time.